seriously today. Three, two, one, go! Ray already starting off with some pretty commanding pressure. Down tilt out of shield, and another one is already going to even it back up pretty much. Made there and running away to set something else up. Ooh! That could have been a pretty bad situation. That is going to be hard to recover from. I think he stuck the wall even. Uh, yeah, bad situation to find yourself in a snake. Alright, the Nair going to chew right through his shield, get some big going here. And it's fine if he pulls those grenades right now. Like. Ray wants, like, it'll interrupt the combo, but it'll still do a solid 10% on either side. Very minimal sort of uh, trade-off. Towards looking at the ledge and see if he can set something up. And Ray kind of playing around it. The ledge trap not really in and out. C4 is still there. Yeah, just as I say it. Ray was just kind of like, I dare you. I, I really dare you. And Bobo, he dared you. Oh, and Bobo loved doing that. I guess a lot of snakes do, where you just set up three different explosives right on the ledge when someone's trying to chase you after they get off the platform. It just immediately does like 50 damage. Oh, goes clean flat past the ledge, eating a serious forward smash. Tries to get that sticky on it, but doesn't quite go. Yeah, and these ledge traps, and so far nothing's really been working against Ray. <laughs> up tilt, spot dodge, up tilt is still viable, even in PGR tier events, too. Hard punish. Oh, and the win box pushes the grenade with him. Those grenades respond so harshly to win boxes, they just fly around because of it. Alright, up throw, up tilt, very simple conversion. Yeah, Ray played it really like controlled and safe, but still not really giving him much breathing. E beautiful. Great character knowledge, or matchup knowledge. Just parry the last hit, knows when it's going to come out. Serious amount of damage. Oh, he got a little too thirsty there. All his ledge traps haven't been working, but... Right. Until he's going to take it. Forgot about that hitbox there. Yeah, Ray felt in control pretty much the entire time, uh, despite it being like pretty even. Start the battle. It's the old Bobo, the Diddy Bobo. I can't make a copy. Freestyle, freaking parody. I'm going to FD. Doesn't want any platforms involved. I think the important thing now, I just keep going back to it's just not keeping the ledge traps going. Like, Ray's just seeing one step ahead on each time. He's just playing it safe, a little more creative. Like, yeah, I'm just going to jump up, touch the ledge, re-grab it, too. He's just cool as a goddamn cucumber whenever he's under pressure from state. He's just piercing, like, he's seeing through every moment that there is actually a gap. A lot of the time, it seems like there isn't against Snake. Get up. He's just not that sure of himself right now. Right into it with the explosion from the grenade. Gonna do a lot of damage. He's even touched in like a, a solid 70%. I'm right to say it. Back off stage. Yeah. Now this is kind of half on Bobo here, <laughs> at least. He's just throwing a lot of stuff. 
Good job keeping his jump to just get back on stage more safely than have to throw out another Cypher there. I don't know what he's thinking anymore with those ledge options. Trying to call out a high jump in there. Down throw, forward tilt. There we go. Good call out. I don't know why he rolled to the right. I think he took it up as a quicker option. Maybe I'm insane. Back airs him again. Great tech, but he's side B's instead of up B's. I'm not feeling it. You'll get him next time, bud. Running up. Reckless abandon right now. Go for it, babe. That's what I do. Be down and out, just try and have some fun. Going high. And the up air. Pretty exacerbated, exacerbated at the end of that.